segment of the show where we spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. I am Ohimai Amaize. And of course, yes, the trial of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Onogen, has also topped the trend. All through yesterday, Nigerians were talking about this in the social media. Uh, CJN Onogen was at number one spot on Twitter uh, for Practically the whole of yesterday, Nigerians still talking about the latest developments unfolding on that uh, trial, which uh, broke the internet literally yesterday and across the weekend. Let's take a look at how this issue is still being uh, talked about right now in the social media. Uh, at least 20 sons yesterday rose to the defense of the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Uh, I was not properly served with summons. That is what the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Noga, is saying through his lawyers who were at the CCT yesterday. He has come out to say that he was not properly served. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJ and Walter Samuel Onogen, has denied receiving proper service to appear before the Code of Conduct Tribunal to face trial over alleged false asset declaration. At the hearing on Monday, Justice Onogen, who is being represented by about 25 senior advocates of Nigeria and over 50 other lawyers, said he was not served in person as provided by law. Wale Olanik Bekunsan, who is leading the defense team, argued that Section 123A and 124 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act mandated personal service of the defendant in criminal matters. Olanik Bekun also challenged the jurisdiction of the court to hear the matter, adding that the defendant was not served with leave of court containing the date for the arraignment. Our appearance here is on protest. We are not yet at the stage of trial, he said. That is what the lawyer still, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, that is what he said yesterday at the CCT. Uh, there's this uh, dramatic development we also saw yesterday. Lawyers dare the federal government set to shut down the system. A group of lawyers defending uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria have threatened to shut down the system over the ongoing trial of the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Let's take a look at this video, courtesy of Sahara Reporters. You can't just wake up midnight, you can see the drama that took place within the court. That is sufficient enough to let us understand that there's a finger from somewhere attempting to mess up, not just with the CJN, but with the judicial system and of course the expected or the imminent election that is coming. We want to call on all Nigerians to rise up to salvage this country. Yes. We must all join hands together, we must all join voices together to supply voice and vision for the genuine emancipation of this country from the penumbra of social political darkness, from this Spillless entities who have hijacked the system to mess up with the country. I am grateful for this organization who has taken up the cost to ensure that this is done. And let me tell you, please, this is just a signal to the Nigerian executive government. Yes. We are taking further steps from today to yes. ensure that we shut down the system. Yes. To let them understand that the Nigerian lawyers are determined to change the system. Yes. To the system. Yes. Yes. We shall not give in for oppression. Yes. We shall not give in for intimidation. Yes. We shall stand for the truth. Yes. Okay, a group of lawyers uh, uh, stating clearly yesterday that they stand with the Chief Justice of Nigeria and they also stand for justice and they're going to do whatever it takes to even shut down the system if that trial is not put on hold. Well, Yesterday, the CCT adjourned the trial to January 22nd. Uh, we move on and take a look at more issues coming out of that trial yesterday, which was trending. Let's go on to the next slide and take a look at uh, uh, more developments happening yesterday. This was from Sahara Reporters yesterday reporting that the trial has been adjourned to 22nd of January. A Twitter user, just as Nigerians continue to react, a Twitter user, Nafisa Twitter, said an arrest order has been issued by Federal High Court against Adam Sushomoli for defrauding Edo State. It's more than five months now. EFCC went to court to defend its refusal to arrest Oshomale. Justice Onogen is being prosecuted for a petition written against him four days ago. Nafizi tweeted. Let's take a look at uh, Eddie Walter's tweet. He said, why is the PDP taking the CJN Onogen case personal? Or is he above the law now? Just like the case of Russia and USA during the Cold War, any nation the U.S. refuses to help, USSR will move in and want to assist. Now it's between FG and PDP. This should not be the case. Eddie Walter questioning the interest of the PDP in this matter. Uncle Ajala tweeted and said, May not gate. No need to rush to court. Nema gate. Who caught EP? Subsidy scam. Leave court out of it. Kemi Adeoshu. Just resign and go. Baba Chir. He has no bees with court. But CJN Onogen was petitioned 9th of January. Charges made 11th of January. Court arraignment 14th of January. 
double standards on Kwajala tweeting. And of course, yesterday, the Niger Delta militants have also uh, had their voice on this issue. They are saying that they are going to shut down oil wells over this case. Or now, the Niger Delta militants threaten to shut down oil wells over CJN's case. The Niger Delta militants have been quite silent for a long time, but it seems they are having their voice right now again, and they are speaking on the Onogen case. They say they will shut down the oil wells if this trial is not put on hold or aborted completely. And the APC, the ruling party, is insisting, however, that the trial must continue and that Onogen must face that trial. Breaking, Onogen must face corruption trial. APC Nigeria insists. So this is the latest on this trial, which has been trending in the social media. We we'll move on from this issue now very quickly to one video that is trending in the Nigerian social media. Uh, this is a case of, you want to call it a case of uh, when two pastors are fighting, uh, Pastor Chris Okafo of the Mountain of Liberation Ministry in Lagos is taking a swipe at the pastor of the Lateran Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakari. Let's take a look at what he said. This video is trending currently in the social media. Uh, let's go on and take a look at uh, uh, Shame on to Pastor Bakari by Pastor Chris Okafo, Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministry. This was shared with us by Casey Niger on Twitter. Let's take a look at this video and a few comments are followed. When Jonathan was the president, a pastor like Pastor Tunde Bakari, he will lead millions of Nigeria, save Nigerian soul. I'm surprised when Nigeria soul need to be saved now, Tunde Bakari have not stood up to say save Nigerian soul. Why? Because of whatever they are benefiting from the government, they cannot be able to speak. Shame unto Pastor Tunde Bakari. Yes! Shame unto him. Yes! Shame unto him. Why? This is Christian fighting against Christian. What is the offense of Jonathan that this government have not done? Listen, Pastor Tunde Bakare with some other radicals, they will close Ojota. They said, save Nigeria. Nigeria needs to be saved now. Yes, sir. Ever. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm not afraid of anybody. Not at all. I'm not. We, listen. Listen, if we need to die for this gospel, I am ready to die. Hey! Are you hearing what I'm saying? So that is the highest thing you can do for threatening a man. We have come to the level, if we die, it's profit. If we live, we'll continue to prosper the gospel. I will put my church and the grace of her shall not prevail. Yes, sir! What was it? Okay, social media commentators, be careful when men of God have Going after themselves, don't put your mouth. <laughs> okay. Olu Ali Dada tweeting said it is okay to drag Pastor Tunde Bakare now, but he forgot that the pastor was at the forefront of the movement that fought for GEJ becoming acting president, even when the cabals in government, with the collaboration of NAS, weren't ready to do anything. It's okay. From Olu Ali Dada, we saw that tweet. And from another Twitter user, Catch Corey74, at some point the truth must be told, no matter how difficult it may seem. And then we saw another Twitter user, Fris Ferrick, tweeting said, the transformation of Tunde Bakari is amusing to watch. This man was firebrand to the point of castigating all and everyone, publicly or privately, Christian or non-Christian. I've sat in an audience where he dragged Bishop Michael Konkwo and his wife. From Afris Ferrick and from Prince 4777, Prince Oyeyemi tweeted and said, the pastor can emulate Pastor Tunde Bakari too by organizing his own Save Nigeria soul in Ojota too. Must it be only Pastor Tunde Bakari? Well, I think that's a valid question. <laughs> Organize your own, please, if you are not satisfied with what Bakari did in 2014 or years before. Well, we move on now to this issue that is also trending. Uh, Nigerians, you are very, very familiar with this concept of brown envelopes, right? Okay, over the past few days, uh, Southwest traditional leaders visited the president in Aso Rock and something interesting happened. Red Mokri shared with us this video. He said, watch this video very carefully. Retweet when you see the brand envelope exchanging hands behind Bola Tinubu. This video was shot by Channels TV. Tinubu and Buari are fighting corruption very well indeed. Let's take a look at this video, which was shared by Red Mokri. You won't go on violence. None of us. We've achieved in our junior brothers and many of our followers. 
we want our followers to become sacrificial lambs. While the APC's national leader maintains that the incumbent government is desirous of a peaceful, free and fair election, he insists that the APC is confident of winning the 2019 presidential election. Where you believe you can win, you won't, don't want violence. None of us, with our children, our junior brothers, and many of our followers, we want our followers to become sacrificial lambs. No, we won't encourage. Okay, did, did, did you guys see what happened there? Well, there's this very big brown envelope that was given to one of the traditional rulers. Did you guys see that in that video? Well, I thought I saw it too, but well, we can't really tell what was in that envelope. Well, let's take a look at how Nigerians are reacting. Perfection07 tweeted and said, please watch the video again, this time with an open mind. Observe their body language when they realized they were in front of a camera. Even if it's not a bribe, their reactions show something is off. From Edo Hot tweet, the video does not tell us what is in the envelope, does it? Must we conclude that a brand envelope always contains money or some form of inducement? And for what purpose was the envelope given? Too quick to jump to conclusions. Fact check first. Okay, and then from only one Josh, that envelope was not money. That was a pile of A4 paper. Tinobo wants to use it to immediately, after the interview, to print results of jam students. Only one Josh fired off that tweet yesterday why that issue was trending. And of course, uh, political campaigns are trending right now. And uh, the Atiku presidential campaign was in Ondo and Ekiti yesterday. We we'll take a look at this very short video of the Senate President Bukola Saraki, you know, doing some uh, kind of uh, pulling off some stunts yesterday. Let's take a look from Daily Mabadu who shared this video with us. Atiku Abubakar campaign storms Akure Ondo State, pictured by Tokwe Brown. Let's take a look at this very short video. My God, who would have thought that Bukola Saraki, Senate President, could dance that much? Politicians show their skills when it's time for elections. Okay, let's go now and take a look at this video from the Next Level campaign, the Next Level campaign of President Muhammadu Bwari that is also trending. This video was shared with us by Jack Bross, Twitter user Jack Bross. He is a member of the Bwari Media Center. He said, this Next Level advert na die. Let's take a look at this video very quickly. God don't bless this wee country, but so many bad leaders want dabaru waiting. God don't do. Leaders we no one make we chop. Uh -uh. No one make we enjoy life. Waiting now. Corrupt leaders where they chop alone. They won't make we they cry. <laughs> but God come send better people where they fight for us. People where get correct integrity. They pursue all these wicked people. They fight for us. Make we feed the chop again. Now they won't carry us to another level. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at a few comments. I am Mr. J, creative but unrealistic. That chicken and turkey cost way lesser when we were under that umbrella. With the hunger and corruption we are facing right now, it's safe to say, God forbid, to your next level. 4 plus 0 equals to Dara by Road. Another Twitter user did a clap back. Shared Atiku's own version of that sort of a video. Nah, this is how you do a jollof rice ad, I beg. From TRZ, Drift King shared this video with us. Let's take a look at this one from the Atiku camp. Oh boy, see better Nigerian jollof rice. See better flexing. See better chow. Until Buari conquering change come, so they everything come the dabaro. So they we no come the chop belly food. So they we no come the see meat buy. Even tomato no con the gumbo, they follow our Nigerian jello of rice. Chai! My people, 
She ain't like this, we go day day. Okay, PDP, APC. PDP, APC. PDP, APC. How many times did I call you guys? I'm not going to be doing free advert for you again. Come and advertise officially with AIT, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, the case of a new IG of police is trending. Reports yesterday indicate that uh, a new Inspector General of Police has been appointed by name Adamu Mohammed. It's a developing story. Comments are filtering in gradually on social media. So we are monitoring this story right now. Sources Adamu Mohammed appointed acting IGP. So we'll take a look at reactions maybe tomorrow in tomorrow's edition. We move on quickly to Instagram. Still on police matters where this video is trending. Anambra State Policemen seen towing a tricycle they just seized in Onisha. Very, very interesting video. Let's take a look and take a look at the comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All outlaws BT posting on Insta Blog Nigeria yesterday said he's their card and he's doing. <laughs> Judge Sani77 said, I don't understand which crime this keke commit We reach the crime with their patron with their patrol van don't already commit. And from Nunu Kandi, the state of the vehicle is a reflection of the police force. And then a few more comments yesterday uh, from uh, Sindako7441. See Nigeria police vehicles. God, later, when I go to blame police, say, then to the vex. How body no go pip. Person for that kind of motto uh, from that Instagram user, we saw that. And yesterday, the 10 year challenge was trending on Twitter. Okay, it was global, it was a global trend. So, the whole concept was basically uh, you post a video, a picture actually of yourself or something about you 10 years ago and a current picture of yourself right now. So, everybody hit the streets on Twitter and began to post videos and put photographs of themselves 10 years ago. I also tweeted mine, but it's not here this morning. But let, I'll bring to you a collection of some of the celebrities that were trending yesterday. Bob Brisky also posted this. Actually, Bob Brisky was a boy. This is a picture of Bob Brisky 10 years ago, and this is Bob Brisky right now. Uh, and those who always confuse his identity, thinking that he's actually female, Bob Brisky is male, actually. This was Bob Brisky 10 years ago. This was what he shared during the 10 year challenge yesterday let's go and take a look at more celebrities that share this on this trend token marking wa was actually very dark she looks very fair right now but this was token marking wa 10 years ago this is what she looks right right now hmm, what a transformation if you ask me and then let's go and take a look at don jazzy this was don jazzy 10 years ago and this is don jazzy right now uh during the 10 year challenge yesterday he posted this picture on instagram let's go on and take a look at this one from Faz the bad guy this was Faz. 10 years ago, this is fast right now. I don't think there was too much of a change between 2018 and 2008 and 2018. Okay, uh, let's see another one from Tonto DK. I also don't think there was too much of a transformation yet. This was Tonto 10 years ago. Well, well, okay, she looks more like a mommy right now. <laughs> okay, well, that is it on the trends. We go now to Da Awards. Da Awards is the biggest awards you've seen this year, the third edition is happening live here in the city of Abuja on the 19th of January, Saturday 19th of January. It's going to be very big, you know, some of the big people who have done great stuff across sectors from politics to uh, corporate Nigeria to entertainment are going to be awarded for the great work they've done at this event that is happening here in Abuja. But on the Twitter handle of that awards, we have a poll that is going on for various categories. On this particular category, for instance, the Da Awards Prize for Minister of the Year, Ibe Kachiku Aoduogbe, Rotimi Amechi and Babatunde are nominated there. But voting has been going on on this poll, and currently Ibe Kachiku is leading at 43%, closely followed by Babatunde Fashola at 37%. Uh, Aoduogbe is at the bottom of that poll with 7%. Rotimi Amechi is at 13%. So you can actually go to the official Twitter handle of Da Awards, at Da Awards, and begin to vote for your favorite nominees. I think that no, that nomination, that voting closes later today. Da Awards for Nollywood movie, movie of the Year, King of Boys is there, Merry Men is there, Lionheart is there, Chief Daddy is there. Lionheart is currently winning with 53% of the votes cast so far. Uh, King of Boys follows closely at 30%. Merry Men is at the bottom. Who would have thought? Well, let's go and take a look at uh, some of the other categories where people are voting. That was for African President of the Year. And currently, the president of uh, uh, Rwanda, Paul Kagame, is leading at 35%, followed by the president of Ghana at 32%. Uh, 
uh, our own President Buhari has just 17% of that vote. Kenyatta is at 16% of the votes. Uh, so if you love President Buhari very much, you think he deserves the award of the President of the Year, you can go on that poll right now at that awards uh, to vote. And also that awards prize for the best social media comedy skit. Uh, Brother Shaggy is leading at 31%. Maraji at 30%. Uh, Lassisi Elenu at third, at, at third with 22%. And Nidu Azobia is at the bottom of that poll. So all you guys who love the comedians, if you are a big fan of Lassisi Elenu, go and vote for him. Or of Nidu Wazobia, just go and vote. Also, for the social media political commentator of the year, uh, Kai Bube, the statesman, is currently leading that poll at 50, 45%, and then followed by Reno Mokri at 28 and then Bashir Ahmad at 18 and La Alua Konde, media aide to the vice president, at 9%. Uh, so you can also go there and vote for your favorite nominees, uh, please. And also, I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be giving out three tickets tomorrow. So you just answer this question. What year was AIT founded? Africa Independent Television, what year was it founded? If you know the answer, tweet that answer right now at Da Awards. The first three people with the very correct, with the correct answer, get a free ticket to attend that event on Saturday. So what year was AIT founded? Go now to Twitter, go and tweet at Da Awards, and then you're gonna be able to win a ticket tomorrow on this show. So this is where we draw the curtain this morning on Kakaki Social. Uh, follow the conversation on our various social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kakaki Social. I am Ohimai Amaize, handing over back now to Shola and Salamat. Dar Communications invites you to the third Dar Awards, holding on the 19th of January, 2019, at the International Conference Center, Abuja. This most anticipated event will celebrate leaders and outstanding contributors to all sectors of industry and communities in this great nation, with great entertainment from Two Face, DJ Jimmy Jack, DJ Neptune, and many more. The third Dar Awards.